a very good morning to all of you. I am Arpita of Standard 9C. So, out now, today's topic is Pythagoras Theorem. Now, I call Behan Sonam to explain more about it. Thank you, Behan Arpita, to give me this opportunity. Then, my topic is History of Pythagoras. Firstly, who discovered Pythagoras Theorem? Anyone? Sir, Sir Pythagoras. Right answer. Sir Pythagoras uh, discovered this theorem. Then yeah, other name of Pythagoras theorem. What is the other name of Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse theorem. Yes. The other name of Pythagoras theorem is Hypotenuse theorem. What is the history of Pythagoras? Pythagoras was a great philosopher who made important development in mathematics as a astronomy and the author of music. He discovers the Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras was born on 570 BC in Samos, Greece. His father name was Nestorus and the mother name was Pythagoras. He was a great mathematician. He gave this theorem. He was died on 495 BC. Then I call Vasha to explain more about it. Very good morning everyone. I am Vasha Raj. I am here for the proof, to prove Pythagoras theorem. So, what is the Pythagoras theorem? What the theorem says? It is the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of perpendicular plus the square of base. Am I right? This is the formula. So, is it right or wrong? We are here with some thing. What is the objective? The objective is to prove Pythagoras theorem. And what are the material required? As we are seeing, the Sharp paper, some cardboard, scissor, glue, etc. Now, what are the pre-required knowledge? We should have to know the area of square, area of right angle triangle, etc. Now, proceeding. We are here with a model. This is about Pythagoras theorem. Now, Pythagoras theorem is the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of perpendicular and the square of base. Now. This is a right angle triangle. This one is a right angle triangle. Now, this is base. Square. Base square, we know. What is the formula for the area of square? Anybody know? Side square. Okay. Area. Side square. So, B square. If we make a square of each side, B, then it will be square, it will be the area of the square, B square, and the measurement of side will be 9 cm. We will find the area, it will be 9 into 9, means 81 cm square. Same with this, perpendicular square. It will make a square. Now, the area, what will be the area? The area will be same as that. The measurement is 12 cm. So we will take 12 into 12. That is 144 cm square. And now we will add it. 144 plus 81. 5 2 to 5 cm square. Now the area of this square, say that the base is perpendicular, hypotenuse square. Area. The measurement is 15 cm. So it will be 15 into 15 cm square. 2 to 5 cm square. So this and this value is equal. So we can say that the area for this and this, when we add it, it will be equal to hypotenuse. Now we are here with a model to prove that. Here we have. We have this cardboard is completely overlap, but when we put it here, we are saying that it is equal. So it should be equal by this. It is completely overlap. So the area of this and this, when we add it, it will be equal to this square. So we are, the square of hypotenuse is completely equal to the square of base and the square of perpendicular. The sum of the square of base and perpendicular. So 
that's all for the day have a great day